Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial, we're going to be looking at, you know, these two questions where we are supposed to, you know, calculate the simple interest that will be earned um, if we have basically invested an amount of 5,000 rand. So there, they just want you to calculate what is the interest that you'll earn after, you know, five years. And in question number two, or example two, if you basically borrow 8,000, right, for 18 months, right, what will be um, obviously the simple interest that you will earn and um, the total amount that you would basically, or what would be the simple interest that will be added on the amount that you've borrowed and then the total amount that you would pay back, all right? So please make sure that you watch um, these, you know, oh, this video tutorial where we're just gonna be focusing on simple interest. We're gonna be doing these nice and easy simple interest calculations, right? Um, and in the next video tutorial, we're gonna be looking at, you know, compound interest calculations if it's compounded yearly or half yearly and um, quarterly, right? So let's look at example number one. It says calculate the simple interest earned if 5,000 Rand is invested at an interest rate of 12.5 percent for five years right so at this point we already know that this is a nice and easy question right why do we know that it's nice and easy because right we are basically told that um you've basically invested this amount of you know five thousand at an interest rate of 12.5 percent for five years so we already know that when you do your simple interest calculations we know that interest is calculated on the initial amount that you have you know invested so that just simplifies or makes our lives so nice and easy because all that we need to do for us to calculate guys please take note of something they just want the interest earned not the total amount that you have at the end of the investment period okay those two are different so we need to just make sure that we're reading these questions uh, carefully right so what do we need to do in this case to calculate the simple interest i'm just going to do it in blue this is for example number one right so the simple interest is just going to be equal to that five thousand rand okay that we've invested we want to multiply by um the interest rate of 12.5 percent so 12.5 percent is 12.5 divided by 100 then we know that we can just multiply by five because interest is calculated on the initial amount okay so we can just multiply by the payment period of five years so what do we get then the simple interest for five years that you'll get um is okay 3125 so this basically means that if you basically invest 5000 rand for 5 years okay um and you earn an interest rate of 12.5% per annum um simple interest that is the interest um that you will basically earn okay okay meaning let me just write it down so the interest earned so the simple interest earned so therefore the simple interest earned will just be that 3,125. If the question was asking us, what will be the total amount that you then have at the end of the investment period? You will just take that 5,000 Rand and you'd plus it with um, 3,125 and then you'd say it's 8,125. Okay, so if they ask for the total amount at the end of the investment, you would just take that 5,000, which you initially had in your account, plus 3,125, and you'll basically have 8,125. All right, nice and easy. Let's have a look at example number two. So it says that you are borrowing or you borrowed 8,000 um, rand, right? And you have to pay it back, okay, um, over 18 months. So, okay, we obviously given, you know, the payment period there, right, with interest. If they charged you 8.5% 
per annum simple interest right calculate the total amount that you would pay back right so here we need to be very careful so here we basically need to be careful if they are basically telling us that the simple interest rate per annum is 8.5 percent okay that is basically telling you that the maximum amount of interest that you can be charged on this 8,000 rent that you've borrowed in one year is 8.5%, right? So that basically means that even with the payment period, right, you need to convert that into being in years, okay? Because we can already see that it's given to us in months, right? So we need to change that payment period to be in years because this interest rate is added yearly, not monthly, okay? Because they've mentioned here that you are charged an, uh, an interest rate of 8.5% per annum. So every year, they'll add 8.5% um, to the investment amount or to the amount that you've borrowed, okay? So in the first year, they'll add 8.5%. In the second year, they'll add 8.5%. But in this case, right, this isn't really a second year, right? You'll be charged interest in the first year and then there's half a half year right that you'll be charged interest for so we basically need to just make sure that we basically take that into consideration when we're doing our calculations all that we need to do we just need to change the payment period right into years because the interest rate is in years it's added yearly okay all right so let's basically do that so i'm going to do this is question number two or example number two what do we need to do if we are given the payment period right let me just do this okay our payment period in is 18 months right okay our interest rate here okay is 8.5 percent per annum very important right okay and then the amount that you've borrowed is eight thousand rand okay so how do we go about calculating the interest um that you'll basically um or the interest that will be added to the amount that you've borrowed all that we'll do we first need to start off by con changing converting this payment period from months into years because our interest rate is in years right so we're going to basically change that you know that one year is equal to 12 months okay what does that mean if you want to convert 18 months into years remember Okay, you just multiply by what you want, divide by what you have. So, you're going to multiply by what you want, you want years, divide by what you have, you've got months. Okay, so what do we need to do here? 18 divided by 12, what do we get? It's 1.5 years, all right? So, this is basically telling us that, right, you are given 1.5 years to pay back this loan of 8,000 rand okay so we've changed our payment period now right this is basically equal to 1.5 years and we're now good to go we can now calculate you know the simple interest um that will be added um to this amount that you've borrowed so we're going to take that 8,000 rand we're going to multiply it by the interest rate of 8.5 over 100 and we can just multiply that by 1.5 years okay what are we getting we are getting that the interest that will be added to the amount that you've borrowed is going to be 1020 grand okay so that's basically the interest that will be added meaning that the total amount that you would pay back because remember you've borrowed 8000 rand okay therefore the total amount that you will pay back will be equal to that 8,000 rand which you initially borrowed plus the interest that they've added of 1,020 rand and this will just give us 9,020 rand okay so that's how much you would pay back to this bank at the end of you know this 18 months or 1.5 years all right so that's it for today's video tutorial right so the take care is that still doing simple interest calculations is very easy because all that you need to know you just need to know what is the principal amount that you've invested or borrowed what is the interest rate okay per annum and then what is the payment period right so then once you've got that information all that you need to do 
take the amount take the amount that you've you know borrowed or invested multiply by the interest rate multiply by the payment period and then that will basically um give you um the interest that you've earned and that all that you need to remember is that you just need to take it a step further depending on what the question is asking you if the question is asking you for the total interest earned you leave it like that but if the question is asking you for the total amount that you would pay back or the total amount that you will earn, have at the end of the investment period then you just need to take the initial amount then you need to add it to the interest okay to get the total all right so i hope this video tutorial is super informative right um yeah and please let's not make the mistake of thinking that in question example number two we're just supposed to take that eight thousand rand multiplied by 8.5 percent multiplied by 18 months no we can't do that why can't we do that because the interest rate is per annum meaning that it's added per year not per month if they said that the interest rate is added per month then it would be okay for us to take that eight thousand multiply by eight point five percent multiply by 18 okay but in this case because they said it's simple interest per annum that basically says that the interest is being added per year right once a year so that's why we had to change the payment period from months into years right so i hope you are uh, you you take note of that okay you can't just multiply by 18 months all right so i'm going to stop it here in the next video tutorial we're going to look at this question right it's a compound interest um question if interest is compounded half yearly what do we do please make sure that you watch that video tutorial and that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,